Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about different classification of the steels and basically with the plain carbon steel and alloy steel. So now I will start with the theory. So in that case of the introduction about the steel. So basically steel which is made up of iron with typically a few tenth of percentage of the carbon. So as per the definition of the steel, up to 2 percentage of the carbon is being present with iron and it will be the formation of the steel and different percentage of the carbon alloying with the iron, it will be forms the different kind of steels. So here in this video, I would like to explain the classification of the steels. So basically that presence of the carbon that will be improve its strength and the fracture resistance compared to the other form of the iron and many other elements may be presented or added as from my requirements and it may be chromium, nickel, modipedum, silicon, manganese depends upon my requirement with the steel. So standard steels that are corrosion and oxidation resistance need typically an additional 11 percentage of the chromium. So most of the steels it will be containing with the chromium and nickel and chromium up to the 12 percentage is being present. So it will be having a corrosion resistance material of the steels. So basically into the food industries, pharmaceutical industries and many more applications it will be requirement of the corrosion resistance steel material. So that chromium along with the nickel it will be plays a vital role to becoming anti-corroded steel material and it will be also having high tensile strength with the low cost. Steel is used in building, infrastructure, tools, shapes, trains, cars, machines, many more electrical appliances, weapons and many more. Iron is the base metal of the steels because any kind of steel the major constitution that will be carbon and iron. So up to 2% carbon with iron it becoming steel material. Then classification of the steel. So basically steel can be classified into two categories plain carbon steel and alloy steel. So basically plain carbon steel that steel in which only the alloying element present is carbon nothing more than that with iron. So in that case of the alloy steel apart from the carbon you can say another annoying elements like chromium, nickel, tungsten, molybdenum, vanadium are also present into that compositions and that depends upon my requirements of the required properties as from my applications. So different alloying constitution like nickel, tungsten, molybdenum so that will be having a different properties of the steels. So that will be depends upon my requirements. So basically now I will discussing with the plain carbon steel and its applications. So in that case of the properties of the plain carbon steels it will be depends mainly on to the carbon percentage. So these steels are further classified into the categories with respect to the percentage of the carbon. So first low carbon or you can say dead might steel which will be having a less than 0.15 percentage of the carbon. So in case of the less than 0.15 percentage of the carbon, if you want to make hardened steel material, so that will be having a difficulties to performing quenching operations because of the low percentage of carbon is being present. So such kind of material is always softer than another materials of the steels. In case of the medium steel carbon, so in that range 0.15 to 0.3 percentage carbon is being present. So if the addition of the carbon into iron it will be increasing the mechanical properties of the material it will be also increasing up to the certain limit. Third one medium carbon steel having a carbon between 0.3 to 0.7 percentage and 
high carbon steel that will be carbon percentage above 0.7% of the carbon to maximum up to 1.3 to 1.4 percentage of the carbon is being present. So as the carbon percentage that will be increasing the strength as well as the hardness of the plain carbon steel increasing while ductility is being decreasing. So that for the plain carbon steel the different applications so dead mild steel material so it got the very good weldability and ductility so you can easily deform into any kind of shape so that in welded and solid drawn tubes thin sheets wire road and many more applications with the dead mild steels it is also used to make those parts which undergo shock loading but must have good wear resistance so for increasing the such kind of characteristics into dead mild steel material so you should increasing its wear resistance and the parts have to undergo the case hardening processes which provides a hard surface while the core remains soft and tough so just you can do your surface engineering with the thermal processes or you can say different heat treatment processes is being performing onto that steel materials and it becoming harder or you can say that outer body it will be becoming harder so you can use this plain carbon steel with such kind of processes and it will be applicable to that kind of requirements then mild steel mild steel that will be having a wide applications in the field of the industries and that will be also used very extensively for the structural work it retains very good weldability also if the carbon percentage is limited to 0.25 percentage so you can performing forging operations stamping operations sheets plates bar roads and many more applications that will be made with the mild steel materials after that medium carbon steel so in case of the medium carbon steel the little weldability is there but the material characteristics it will be stronger and has the better wearing property than the mild steel material so in some applications like railway axles rotors disc wire ropes steel spokes marine shafts general agricultural tools when the anti wearing properties is required or you can say wear resistance property is required so you can use the medium carbon steel materials instead of the mild steel material then high carbon steels so basically that kind of material it will be used to make the tooling materials like coal chisels coal working dies hammers boiler makers tools woodworking tools and many more kind of tools generally it will be used to cut the other materials so in that case of the high carbon steel the high carbon steel can be hardened by the process of the quenching and being hardened can be used by the cutting tools which are not used into hot conditions so in that case it becomes hot above 150 degree centigrade they begin to lose their hardness as well as becoming blunt so if it will be having a high temperature applications so your tool is going to be damaged so for the high carbon steel you should proceed the hardening process and make it harder and after that as per your requirements you should also performing the tempering process after followed by the quenching process then next one and that will be our alloy steel so if in some applications the high properties of the material is being required that will be not fulfilled by the plain carbon steel so you should go for the alloy steel so properties is being enhancing by the addition of the some alloying elements into that steels so the main objectives of that is alloy steel can be hardened by heat treatment process to greater depth with their less distortion and less chance of the cracking then alloying develops the corrosion resistance property as is standard steels work then alloying develops the properties of the red hardness as into cutting tools because red hardness that will be tooling material it will be work at the higher temperature so that higher temperature these cutting tool having a such kind of properties 
so that's only possible with the alloying elements it would be added into basic steel materials then alloying develops the strength and toughness of the steels as in high strength low alloy steels material some alloy steels shows mark resistance to grow and oxidations at the higher temperature etc so you should take care about these kind of alloys if it will be present into your composition